This is cardiotrophin PMG, and the PMG stands for protomorphogen, which is really microRNA. MicroRNA controls DNA. So if you want to repair your cardia or your heart, then you can take this um, RNA product and it can do things to DNA to make it um, replicate and to uh, divide it to divide cells and to sew it back together and repair it, transport it. That's what RNA does. There's a lot of different RNAs. There's messenger RNA, there's transport RNA. And this is called microRNA, which really controls all of it. So if you have any muscular damage or you want to keep your muscles really healthy, and that includes your heart, that's where cardiotrophin PMG comes in. So there's a few things that this does to the body. Number one, or to the muscles. Number one, feeds the muscles, feeds the heart. Number two, if you have an immune system attack on your muscles, such, you know, an autoimmune disease, then this acts as a decoy so the immune system starts to attack the pill instead of attacking your muscles. That's a super unique feature that was known back in the 1930s. They, they started making these in the 1950s. But it was known back then like, hey, if we make this pill, then the um, immune system that's attacking the muscles of the heart will now start to attack the pill. And the third thing this does is it nourishes the heart and muscles. So it nourishes it, it protects it from autoimmune attack, and then it helps um, the DNA and the RNA for growth and development and repair. So it does a lot, one little pill, and typically for maintenance, it'd be one a day. And if you have some uh, more serious heart concerns, uh, nine a day would be uh, quite the dose. And if you just had a heart attack yesterday, I'd be taking 20 to 25 pills a day for about a month, then I'd start reducing the dosage.